Brakti Hawa, Brakti Al Shai, Brakti Hawa, Brakti Al Shai. Call Allah Yahweh, Allah Hayna, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakudash. Bless you, Nosai Yahweh. Bless you, Nosai. In the name of the Only God's Son, Yahweh Shai. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Call uh, all praises to our power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakudash, which I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew, the language that has been turned to us Hebrew as lights that we can call upon our power. One can sit. Thus, Hebrew as lights are so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. And you Israelite foreigners, <clears throat> they're likened unto the speckled bird that been scattered, dispersed throughout the four winds. All right, you're variegated, looking at different appearances. All right, but your lineage going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by the way, your fathers. All right, the children of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Israelite foreigners. All right, two Gentiles that are uh, likened unto salvation are Israelites, just so that you know. All right. Uh, salvation is only for the nation of Israel Alright And uh, of course giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone Which um, <clears throat> you know, I have uh, on, the, on the screen uh, Different uh, videos uh, You know I try to put in apostles of Great Millstone classic You know showing uh, like different classic videos uh, Apostles uh, out there on the streets You know uh, which you know, apostles and elders are still out on the streets, but, you know, you had them within the city, um, you know, certain places, uh, uh, I forget the, uh, actual spot, you know, brothers can, of course, speak on the actual spot, I'm not good at New York, but, uh, I'm not sure if it's 34th and 7th or something, I, I forget, but, um, you know, you had it where, you know, they were in a particular spot, you know, week in and week out, and now we, of course, they move about and such, Still in the city, still preaching this word, still on the highways and hedges, um, <clears throat> and they're still pushing this word. And, uh, you know, you just have it that uh, through the spirit, I just uh, want to go into how, you know, people pretty much uh, buck up against the word and uh, pretty much the whole vibration. Uh, this word messes up the vibration uh, when, it's, and of course, spirits uh, hear it, okay? Uh, and the apostles and elders, um, <clears throat> you know, do of course this word is truth. Uh, you know, their word have went into the ends of the earth via, of course, the YouTube. And uh, of course, uh, that means that, <laughs> you know, uh, we can offend people uh, not only on the streets, but also when they go on the internet. All right. And um, of course, uh, come across our scriptures, uh, which across the videos, which we just teach the Bible, the scriptures. And it's cutting them, all right, to the spirit, you know, the deepest parts of it, all right. And we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, you know, spiritual wickedness in high places and such, you know, these different demons, these spirits and such, you know, we cutting. You know, right now it's uh, 414 or 414, you know. Yahweh writes as our apostles and others be elect, chosen, which I do believe, you know. We pray Yahweh Bashem El Shai, allow them to Yahweh or yeah, endure or you call La uh, Quatza to the end. You know what I mean? Quatza uh, Aid, you know, end till. I think Aid is till, if I'm not mistaken, off the top of my head in Hebrew. All right? But they've been out here, you know, and of course they were learned from their um, various uh, uh, elders. All right? <clears throat> you know, uh, high priest uh, Arya and. Uh, uh, I believe it's um, Elder Yaikwab, if I'm not mistaken, the title is Lakia, King Masha, you know, you're going to it, Abba Bibbins, you know, right? And, uh, you know, our teachers, they're not going to be moving to a corner no more. So, you know, of course, it's good to get a double honors to, of course, our apostles and elders, all right? They're worthy of that, all right? That's labored and we labored and came into their work, you know what I mean? So... You know, it's, uh, it's always good to reflect because, um, I mean, just going into this word, you know, you have it where uh, times, you know, you got people, you know, in the world you come across, and you might, you know, go into uh, the word, you know, with them, you know what I mean, try them, you know, here with the word, but then, like, say, for example, I have an instance where I went into the scriptures, and, um, <laughs> you know, the dude was like, the, uh, the one dude, the one Jake was listening to the word, but the other Jake, he was literally bugging out from hearing, um, <laughs> like, the scriptures. Now, he didn't say it, but he was literally groaning. 
he was and he heard of course just the word on his own too you know what i mean but of course i already uh you know, do the spirit already discern that, you know, this ain't for him. You know, the dude is uh, very effeminate already. I mean, he may actually be actual uh, of Saddam, all right? Look up that in the Sa'adana Ma in the Hebrew, which you can look up Saltam, you know. Uh, but he has that weak, effeminate nature, you know what I mean? And the scriptures speak about how to show ourself as men, you know what I mean? So, um, <clears throat> like, I don't, I don't perceive him as uh, being one... Uh, really fit for salvation all right though of course you're gonna have certain of our people that may of course have been in that you know and but they're gonna come out of that all right uh certain of our people you know what i mean been in all different types of walks of life and such you know what i mean but you know that itself is you know it's a very uh, filthy unclean lifestyle and such all right but um yeah he did good I, you know i was you know basically uh breaking down some things so you know to this other jake this uh, Jake actually is older, and then uh, this Jake being younger, he was literally uh, like bugging out. Like, and this this is a guy that literally has earphones in his ear and was still bugging out. Grunt was ma basically groaning. Um, like he separated, so he got out. Um, like say for example, got from our presence. You know what I mean, <clears throat> he's going over this in a truck and such. You know what I mean, which like I say. Um, we of course don't uh advocate you brothers going to it uh you know the, the scriptures uh and uh you know at work and such but you know you have it like, sometimes different instances you may go into the scriptures and stuff you know what i mean uh with someone you know what i mean <clears throat> but uh but yeah so say for example you know what i mean the dude was <laughs> one dude was bugging out and one dude was uh pretty much uh you know receiving you know the word and such all right so, <clears throat> I just wanted to go into a couple different scriptures, you know what I mean, uh, just in the spirit. This word is powerful, that apostles others, you know, bringing out this word. And, um, you know, as uh, the one brother uh, in our camp, uh, Mayim, he put it in the group chat, uh, particularly um, about uh, YouTube hires 10... Employees clean up. Let me see if I can find this one. Yeah, so he was uh, t talking about which I don't know if he uh, knows about this, but this has been uh, quite a bit ago. You know, I've done lessons about this. Uh, Google, which uh, Google uh, YouTube, you know, uh, owns, right? <clears throat> Is hiring 10,000 people are hired. 10,000 people to clean up YouTube and you best believe of course they got you know which uh, under Suzanne the CEO Suzanne Wojcik you know which we know she uh, of Adawam all right uh, she said that uh, uh, you know they uh, pretty much are going through <clears throat> monitoring uh, YouTube for offensive videos and our uh, Bible uh, based <laughs> Um, content, all right, our lessons, our teachings, and they uh, are offensive content. So they have hired, which they went on a hiring spree to stamp out offensive videos and comments, all right, you know. So you got uh, it where um, it said that some bad actors, actors are exploiting our openness to mislead, lead, manipulate, harass, or even harm, said, adding that YouTube trust and safety teams had reviewed nearly 2 million videos for violent extremist content over the past, past six months. You know, fast forward, you know, you know how much content it has been, how much videos brothers put up. And they, of course, uh, put us under the, um, the whole um, uh, category. Cat Grail, Cat Gornai says what? Which they are accused of our brethren. All right. Um, <clears throat> they categorize as um, as a as a hate group, uh, black extremists, you know, which are not black. All right. You have twelve tribes of Israel. All right. And they have, of course, they come in uh, looking in different vicinities. All right. You have the, of course our natural vicinities where we had, but um, some of us have been scattered too. You know, so you know it may look. Appearing looking like another heathen nation, but our Israelites. But and, you 
know they see our content as controversial so uh i'm gonna get also this preset lord willing like i said i just only wanted to bring a couple uh precepts up because uh it was just something that you know uh i had read a, a precept and it just hit me you know and um you know <laughs> just seeing the you know being around this uh jake and the one like i said the jake was bugging out as i was uh bringing out these certain things understanding to this other jake and uh it was just like i was just damn this spirit is just like this dude was literally like if you looked at like a um like a um if you had a uh like a you know one of them snow globes and you uh shake it up and it's in the globe and stuff how all them the little snowflakes or whatever glitter be moving about you know this man was like looking like literally that it was insane all right <laughs> so you know i just uh something i want <laughs> to cover so i'm gonna get that accuser of our brethren real quick in revelation which accused us accuser i gotta see if i can even spell that revelation chapter 12 and 10 and i heard a loud voice uh, saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God, all right? In the power of his Hamashiach, his anointed one, all right? His most, the most, our power, the most high, and of his Hamashiach, his anointed one, Yahweh Shai, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God, our power, day and night, okay? And, you know, going into that word for accuser, you go into the Greek, which uh, should be the Greek word katagareo, which uh, <clears throat> goes into, so I, can, I don't know what happened with the blue letter, it just literally stopped. <clears throat> So I click, I'm gonna click it right here. Which category, which goes into it to accuse, make an accusation. You know, you like a being like in a category. You know what I mean? And they literally got witches that go <clears throat> and try, try to, of course, pray, commune to the Most High, uh, claiming, you know, hey, look at these Israelites going off. You know, even though they push out wicked uh, vibration here on Earth. The prince of the powder air, Satan, all right, which is physical counterpart, is Esau, Edom, all right, and these elite, they're witches, all right, okay, Chaldeans, all right, but um, <clears throat> in this new Babylon, all right, uh, our virgin daughter of Babylon, all right, Slakia, which uh, that's over here, America, place of confusion. Now, um next preset that I wanted was also um, say I, I know I spoke on a lot um, but you know I'm just gonna go and get this other preset it's gonna be I believe uh, <clears throat> oh second edge all right see the second edges the two, second chapter it's at the top. It's like, I don't know what happened with this thing acting weird. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you have this word is burning up, you know, those that even monitoring the word, the scriptures. Uh, you have it where, uh, like the brother had noted that apostles... Um, <clears throat> You know, their pages, they're getting taken down. Uh, different uh, keywords, buzzwords are triggering algos. Them monitoring pages literally physically with uh, reviewers, okay? Uh, they are taking down these videos, all right? Because, of course, they know that the amount of following and that the truth is gaining. And, like I said, it's flourishing, as the scriptures say. Uh, 
which I'm gonna get real quick. So long without fruit. Roughly paraphrasing. Let me get that. And this is uh, Second Edges six and twenty eight. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, Zahmath, Zahmath, or Wahamath. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And it's being declared. Right, it's being declared out in the streets. All right, and on the internet. <clears throat> all right, and of course Esau Edom. You know, of course, uh, you know, at the end, you know, he's using this technology, his blessing, this miracle technology. Um, he's using it to try to control it, but, you know, it's really in the hand of the Lord, all right? So he can't really, uh, you know, block this truth. He can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, as the scriptures say, all right? And uh, you can't really stop the, the mouth of the prophets, all right, the Lord said his word is not going to go out void. All right, it's going to accomplish that which it, it's uh, set to do. All right. <clears throat> but uh, let me uh, skip back. See, I want to make this a very quick and to the point lesson. Let's do the spirit. Striking while the iron is hot. <clears throat> Second Edges 2 and 1, it says, Thus said the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage. I gave them my commandments by men's servants, the prophets. Um, even going and going to show you, the prophets are men. Okay? You got it like people thinking that prophets, prophets are, uh, can be women and all this. They can, pastors, you know, they can, they can be women and lead in the church. No, the prophets are men. <clears throat> you know? Um, you got this particular Jake, you know, he's actually into the, um, Jehovah, uh, or actually, yeah, I believe he's in the, uh, the, the Seven of Day Adventists, uh, you know, and just, uh, like I said, I was going into, you know, things pretty much just attacking, you know, seeing where his, you know, where the doctrine is. A lot of these different Christian doctrines, like I said, I've, uh, I wasn't into, so I don't really know about it, but, you know, like, you know I see it, like a lot of these different churches which they these demon these uh uh, uh <clears throat> these different denominations you know they come out of the roman catholic church all right uh that um the false prophet you know you go into it <clears throat> but um you have it that um <clears throat> you know they got their different beliefs and they be so bugged out but very you know some of them they share the same you know different beliefs you know what i mean he was going, I guess he was going into like one of the co-founders of this uh, whole Seventh Day Adventist thing is a woman or something like that. You know what I mean? She apparently believes she's um, a prophet. And also, like I said, I was reading the, um, the, the uh, Levit, uh, was it not Leviticus, but uh, the Revelation. She, they had quoted in the Wikipedia Revelation uh, 19 and 10 about the spirit, uh, basically of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You know what I mean? But the Lord is not having you women set to guide and lead the church that prophesy yeah you can of course uh be given visions and tell to your men you know what i mean but uh you know you had prophetesses they were wives of the prophets you had well, of course they received different visions and they would tell of course their men and stuff all right <clears throat> so you know it, the scriptures talk about how um a woman shall keep silence in the church all right so just going into it, he said the scriptures also talk about how uh, ye men I call, you know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, the, 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 was it the, he, my flock are men. Uh, just roughly paraphrasing some of the different precepts on that, you know what I mean? But it says, whom, uh, so it says, I gave them commandments by the men's servant, the prophets, whom they would not hear. But despise my counsels. And you have it that Israelites, they would despise the counsel of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. All right. Which, um, like I say, I'm going to go into this precept, which is all due to spirit. All right. Um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 10. And it reads, 
It says, but the ungodly shall be punished. Uh, oh, it's a verse actually, uh, verse 11. I'll keep reading. It says, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. All right, devices, imaginations, doubts. All right, which they have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Point 11. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. All right, so <clears throat> it says, who that despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. Now, like I said, I was bringing the different, you know, scriptures and breaking things down for the uh, one older Jake, and the other Jake was there. He was in the presence, like I said, I... Receive him maybe trying to even drown it out maybe with his headphones. I don't know. But just from the vibration of the word itself, the conversation itself, uh, you this man was literally miserable. All right. This this uh, one young Jake and stuff. All right. So which basically he despised and chose to despise wisdom, which is all of the Lord that predestined him not to receive this. Remember, the Lord has two thirds that's going to get destroyed here in America. And also, the Lord's going to destroy uh, wicked Israelites across the earth, right? But he got a, a one-third remnant that he's going to deliver, starting with the prophets, all right? And you're supposed to be uh, nurtured up, all right, by the mother, uh, the wisdom, the knowledge, uh, the understanding, all right? <clears throat> knowledge, wisdom, understanding, tree of life. Uh, let me see, Second Edges 2. And two, it says, the mother that bear them. All right, so I'm going to read back again. One, second, it's just two and one. It says, thus said the Lord, I have brought this people out of bondage and I gave them my commandments. Only Israel received the commandments. All right, by men's service, the prophets. All right, the Lord would give, of course, his word, the prophets. All right, and they would come and tell it. All right, to whom the, the Israelites. All right. <clears throat> You know, whom it, of course, it was supposed to be intended for. All right. It says, whom they would not hear but despise my counsel. All right. And, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave off with one of them other precepts, too, I got in mind. But the mother that bare them said unto them, go, ye your way, go your way, ye children, for I am a widow and forsaken. I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness have I lost you. For ye have sinned before the Lord your God and done that which is evil before me. All right. You know, we went off, forsake the Lord, you know, broken and lost that's commandments. All right. Which we were, of course, uh, programmed to do anyway. All right. To go off creature being subject to any. But it says, but what shall I do now unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord. All right. As for me, O oh Father, I call upon thee for witness over the mother of these children, which would not keep my covenant, that th thou bring to confusion in their mother to a spoil, that there may be no offspring of them. All right. Let them be scattered among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they despise my covenant. All right. This goes into a lot of history. All right. Now, now, we could go into more of this, but, <clears throat> uh, you know, scriptures talk about, you know, the mercy of the Lord, you all right? You know, it says, uh, just uh, skipping down, this is uh, verse 11, it says, Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacle which I have prepared of them, all right? The Lord gonna give us the kingdom of heaven. They shall have the tree of life for an ointment of sweet savor. Neither shall they labor or nor be weary. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that ye may, that they may be shortened. And you know we're we're praying. We're hastening to the day of Yahweh Shem year 2021. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. All right. <clears throat> it says, take heaven and earth as a witness, for I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good, for I live, said the Lord. Mother, embrace thy children and bring them up. All right, the mother is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right. <clears throat> bring them up with gladness and make their feet as fast as a pillar. 
all right you know we want to be right rooted and strong and towering over everything right support it a foundation all right but anyway it says for i have chosen thee said the lord and those that be deed i will raise up again from their places and bring them out of their graves for i have known my name in israel all right <clears throat> And the Lord, he brought wisdom into these uh, dry bones, all right? You know, Israelites, all right, and to the elect prophesy on them, as Ezekiel 37 tells us. And you have it that a remnant of us are coming back, of course, to the truth. And following the law, statutes, commandments, following Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, true worshipers worshiping the Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, in spirit and truth. Fear not, thou mother of the children, for I have chosen thee, said the Lord. For I will help and will for thy help will I send. All right, so we're for your help, uh, Isar, my servants. All right. Now I believe they're supposed to be of uh, speaking of Isaiah. Uh, they got Esau, but this is off. I remember I asked a brother a while ago about this. And Jeremiah, Jeremy, right here. After those counsel, I have sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees laden with diverse fruits. And as for Many fountains formed with milk and honey, and seven mountains therein there grow roses and lilies, whereby I will fill the children with joy. All right, <clears throat> so now you can go into this more, but um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is uh, go into this other precept, <clears throat> pretty much uh, about to close off. He that the spies. All right, because the other Jake, he despised the word. You could tell by his miserable countenance. I think it's like, it might be Proverbs, somewhere Proverbs 16, maybe. I'm not sure. Or des despiseth. Uh, let's see if it comes up. Yeah, so Proverbs. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bring out a couple of precepts, but Proverbs 13 and 13 is like it. Whoso despised the word shall be destroyed. You know, really, like you said, the other Jake, he just, he didn't he didn't, the word Yahweh shy. He come in the volume of the book. He said it's written of the Lord. So you know, he he despised Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shy. All right, the scriptures, the precepts. All right, but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. Rewarded with what? Salvation. All right, a hedge about them. Wisdom. Okay, getting them out. Cause you like you got a lot of these Jake. That, um, like I said, they are uh, bold, and uh, they may be rebelling against the script, the, the system, you know. But they, uh, that like I said, they still don't have a hedge in Yahweh Shemai Shai. They ain't call upon the name of the Lord and. Trying, of course, to rehearse the righteous acts. All right, seeking the Lord in humility. All right. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 12. He that is void of wisdom, which he didn't have none, he's empty. <laughs> and other Jake despises his neighbor. Right. So you know the dude. You know, really, he despised me, uh, his neighbor. I'm of, of course, you know, the children of Israel, uh, from the tribe of Ephraim. I believe he would be of the tribe of Judah. But a man of understanding holdeth his peace. That's right. You know what I mean? And I was being, uh, um, like I say, bringing out the different dang scriptures and stuff. You know, um, you know, really in certain situations, circumstances, I do not, uh, you know, uh, say it's wise for brothers to do, especially at their job. You know what I mean? But you have it certain situations, you know, uh, it, it has came up, you know. And certain, and, and like I said, you, you just, you know, I said, the spirit go as, as this, you know, the wind it go off where it go. But you know what I mean? Like, you don't, you know, be be as on your Clark Clint, be wise as a serpent, harvest a dove. You know what I mean? And let your, your your left hand know what uh, your right hand's doing. You know, roughly paraphrasing certain scriptures. You gotta have stability, uh, so, uh, subtlety. All right. It says a tail bear reveal the secrets. But he that is faithful, uh, of a faithful spirit, concealeth the matter. Where the, no counsel is, the people fall. All right. 
You don't got no counsel. Just counsel coming by the prophets. You read the word. But the multitude of counselors there is safety. Apostles and elders a great millstone. All right. And it's uh, all due to spirit. You have the apostle uh, Elder Gabar. Which you can see him here. Um, you can see Apostle Tahar. I see Elder uh, Manatazak. I uh, see Apostle uh, Aramla, Ariamla, Saki, if I got the mispronunciation. Um, you have it, one of the um, videos that I believe uh, he's, uh, you know, he did two videos uh, under his page, Israelite. I don't know if it's right here, but uh, right here, yeah. Uh, going into like certain uh, uh, pra basically praising uh, certain uh, famous men, you know what I mean? Uh, other apostles, uh, elders, you know, above them and stuff. All right, um, you know, uh, you know that they labored into their works and such. Uh, going to King Masha, and I believe this is uh, elder, I believe high priest Yaquab, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and then he said, I think in this video, which I haven't watched, the man who taught those two men rabbi abba bibbins all right which we believe his spirit was uh uh that'd be um elijah uh coming back in a reincarnation which you can read that and um i believe that might be if i'm not mistaken malachi the fourth chapter all right um they will send unto us in the last days elijah the prophet Shall bring turn the the, the 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 children to their fathers, roughly paraphrasing, and such. So, you mean no? You got to know that this word is uh, very very powerful, okay? As the scriptures are uh, going to cutting, even dividing asunder of soul and spirit, roughly paraphrasing and such. So, you no, know, you have it that literally people's countenance is changing, you no, know, uh, showing that their misery. As I, uh, of course, went through that Wisdom of Solomon, which I'm going to just go again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and 10. Just reading it again. But the un uh, our verse 11, for whoso despises wisdom and nurture, which you're supposed to get nurtured by your mother, these was not understanding, he is miserable and their hope is vain. Their labor is unfruitful and their work's unprofitable. So it's all for nothing. Because remember, this whole world is going to uh, be passed away. Elements. All right. And nuclear destruction. All right. Two thirds going to get destroyed. So, you know, they're doing it all for nothing. Only to uh, come back, in, of course, in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, with uh, You got the everlasting contempt for a while. You know, a shame, you know, knowing, of course... Hey, they just wasn't chosen to uh, get and understand this and be delivered from the second death. All right. So that's the lesson all due to spirit. You know, hopefully you're edified. Akim. you know, know that, of course, this word is very powerful. Be very careful who you bring it out the word uh, to, especially in these times. You know, what I mean, your regular walk and regular life. You know, even your parents. Like I said, it's a time of uh, great division. There's a whole nother spirit out here. You know, uh, different people at your job. Be very, very, very careful. There's agents out there. There's uh, spies. All right. You know, so. But like I said, we got a hedge. Your Yahba Shemel Shai. 444 Mercy. That's the end of the video. Call all you my Yahba Shemel Shai. Shalom to the elect.